I just wanted to show you the difference in uh, the way uh, Snagit for Chrome captures images on the screen, in particular video uh, captures of the screen. Um, and so I've got three windows open here. There's this one here, which is a, a lynda.com page. I've got my Gmail open and I've got my Google Drive open. And if I go to any of these windows and click the little Snagit button, a little panel will open up on the side of that particular window. So just important to realize that. So if I was to go to this window, for example, and click the Snagit button, this bar would appear on this window. So if you have multiple windows open, just uh, be aware of which one you're actually using to trigger Snagit. So if I click the Snagit button, and you can see I can either take a region screenshot. So if I click that button there, and then I can use my mouse anywhere. Now, I, because I opened it from within this window, I can only snapshot from within this window. So if I want to take a snapshot of, say, you know, just that column down the side there, I can do that. And when I let it go, it snaps it. It opens up the um, library or, or uh, it actually brings up an editing mode for this image as part of the library. And I can do things like I can use these tools on the side here. I could sort of draw a box around things. I could use an arrow to, to point to something if it was relevant. And those annotations that go on top of the image actually become part of the image. Um, and that's actually synced in the background. Uh, so down the bottom here, you can see I've got a, a, a button here to grab a link to this image. And if I was to click that button, what it will do is it will copy that uh, URL for this image on my clipboard and in fact if I was to go to uh, just go to any page here and just paste in that URL you'll see that it actually will load up that particular image okay so this snapshot here including the annotations oh the arrow must be on its way uh, it will actually come up sometimes there's a slight delay um, so it, it will do that. Now if you want to download this image, you can click the download button and actually download it to your computer. So we can do that. Let's just try and do that. Let's put it on the desktop. And so here's the image here. And you can see if I open that up, uh, there is the image right there, including all the annotations. So that's how that bit works. Um, if I click the back button here to go to the library, you can see it's actually put this little image in my library collection. And where does it actually go once it's in the library? Well, let me just close this window and take you to my Google Drive page. If I go into this folder called TechSmith, you should see, uh, if I go into uh, Grid View, there is the image here. So by snapping it using Snagit for Chrome, uh, it automatically allows me to put the annotations and stuff on, and then it drops it straight into this TechSmith folder. So it saves every screenshot I make, which is a really nice touch. Uh, let me just go back up to here and let's go back to list view. Um, okay, I just want to show you. So that's that's taking a screenshot. I used the region tool there um, and that you remember I could draw out the box around the bit that I wanted. Um, if I choose the visible option, now the reason this isn't called full screen because it actually captures what's in the current window. So if I click a visible capture, it will just snap and it will snap, let's just make that a little bit bigger so you can see it, it snaps whatever was in that window, okay? Let's just go back. If I switch to my Gmail page here and I run Snagit from there and click Visible, it actually will snap whatever was in that current window. So it snaps the, the email, all right? So um, just be aware of that, that whatever window you're currently active in is the one that it will snap when you choose this Visible button, okay? You can't actually take full screen shots, uh, unless of course you make the window full screen, um, but it doesn't actually capture the whole screen. Now, video recording on the other hand, slightly different. If I go down here below this little blue video icon and click on desktop, what it does is it pops up a box and a dialogue to actually ask me what I want to capture. And I do in fact have the option here of capturing the entire screen, which is everything. So now I'm on a 27 inch iMac here, so uh, it's kind of a large screen, which means that when you watch the video back, everything on it will be quite small. So um, I actually try not to do screencasts from this computer because the screen's so big when you go full screen. Uh, probably a 13 inch screen would be more suitable, but a whole other issue. Uh, it also shows me any open windows. So you can see here are the three open windows I've got. So I could either click this one here and capture the entire screen or I could click one of these windows and capture just that window. And that's actually probably a better option um, because you can resize the window to a smaller size and therefore make everything appear bigger when you watch the playback. The caveat with that though is if you capture just a window 
and that window has to pop up another window on top. So for example, uh, let's say um, let's say you're on a page where you click a button and it pops up like a pop-up message in its own window on top. That won't be captured because obviously you have told it not to capture that window. So if you do need to capture multiple windows and things popping up, then you really do need to use the full screen mode. Otherwise, if you know everything's going to be contained inside one window, I would use the, the window only. So let's just choose this one, the My Drive, and click Share. And this button appears at the bottom of the screen saying it's now sharing my screen. And it's currently recording. Now, I'm kind of doing something odd here because I'm actually recording twice. I'm recording once with Snagit and once with Camtasia. So I can make this video to show you how I'm recording with Snagit. So it's a little bit Inception. But um, I'm currently recording with Snagit. And you can see I'm moving my mouse around if I open things up and close things and move things. This is all being recorded. Okay, so all the stuff I'm doing on my screen now is being captured by Snagit. When I'm done, I say stop sharing. And it will pop up this window here. And this is the video here that's being captured by Snagit. Down the bottom, you notice it says syncing. So it's actually taking this video and it's syncing it back to my Google Drive. So I have a record of it there. Uh, and... No, that was a relatively long capture. Okay, so it's fully synced now. It's a 31 second capture, which um, you know could be long or short depending on what you want to do with it. Over in the side of this blue button gives me the option of uploading this to YouTube or doing it as an animated GIF. Now, if you're going to do an animated GIF, it has to be less than 20 seconds long. So mine was 31 seconds. So that's why this is grayed out. But if I made a, a screen capture less than 20 seconds, I would have the option of capturing it as an animated GIF and sending that to my drive as well. And just again, to prove the point, if I go back to library, here is the video I just made. And if I close that library button and go back to my drive and look in the TechSmith folder again, you can see that here is the video. It's not fully processed yet. So you see it as this sort of um, red icon uh, and it can take a few minutes before it's fully processed. And then it, it just looks like the rest of these uh, icons here and it just shows up as a, as a thumb shot, a thumbnail shot. So I hope that makes sense in the way that uh, Snagit actually works. Very powerful tool and runs entirely within Chrome.